Do you ever get annoyed by your dog sniffing? Let's talk about how to stop this, or if you even should. While puppies can't see until two to three weeks old, and can't hear until three weeks of age, they can navigate by smell immediately after birth. Dogs have 300 million olfactory receptors in their nose. This makes their sense of smell 50 times greater than our own. As well, the part of our dog's brain dedicated to analyzing those smells is 40 times greater than our own. That means it takes a lot of brain power for our dogs to utilize those super sniffers of theirs. Over the years, we have even selectively bred certain dogs like hounds to excel at this. We even use our dog's noses to help us in day-to-day -day life, like sniffing bacteria in hospitals, looking for bombs and drugs, pests, or to work as service dogs who can detect things like allergens or blood sugar levels. All of this means many of our dogs love to sniff. This is one of the main ways our dogs take in information. Sniffing helps our shy and nervous dogs orient themselves in the environment. It also can help our overly excited dogs to calm down. It's very mentally stimulating for them, especially taking them out to new environments and letting them sniff around and check them out. A good wander and sniff can mentally tire your dog out and help you get them exercised in a different way than hard running. Some of our adrenaline junkie dogs who seem even more excited and worked up after getting some physical exercise like games of fetch, ending a walk with sniffing can help them settle after playing or running around. It also helps some of our really stressed dogs to unwind. What this means as dog owners is that we should give our dogs as many opportunities to sniff as we can. If your dog wants to sniff on walks, you should let them. This is a great way to let your dogs express this natural behavior and get more out of their walks. We can also simulate this for our dogs by hiding their treats and meals around the home and having them search for them. You can even do this in the yard or on walks in the grass, or by utilizing toys like snuffle mats. There are even dog sports you can compete in to earn ribbons where our dogs have to sniff out essential oils to mimic detection work and have a lot of fun in the process. Of course, there are many times where it may not be appropriate for our dogs to sniff. We don't want our dogs pulling us after smells on walks or sniffing things that may possibly be dangerous for them. Sometimes we might even be in a hurry or need to get to a destination or maybe we're doing a training session. Or maybe our dog is a working dog like a service dog who has an important task that they need to perform in that moment. Some dogs also may just be notorious eaters of anything they find, like rocks, sticks, leaves, and pine cones. In these cases, it helps to have context. This could be using a harness and long line when we go on sniffing walks, and a collar and shorter leash when we have a destination in mind or training. Or we can teach a heel command and release your dog with a word, like go sniff. Or for our working dogs, we make it so that they know when their gear is on that they are working, and when they have a different set of equipment on, it's free time and that they're welcome to go sniff. And of course, we don't want our dogs eating anything, so working on a leave it command and making sure our dogs have a solid drop it is also very important. With all that in mind, please consider letting your dogs sniff more on walks. They'll certainly thank you for it. <laughs>